I started exploring cloud computing these days by clearing few AWS examinations and realized the worth and utter need of cloud computing. I think it's one of the biggest innovation and revolution of data centers in human history. If you ask me, then I think cloud is the necessity of every startup and MNC today. It's very hard to expand your IT business without cloud computing. And the reason could be that cloud is providing computing resources and programs via internet. Let's take it this way. Imagine if you have a large enterprise company, healthcare or maybe fintech where you are generating a lot of data and you are also giving access of that data to your users and other associates of your organization, then your infrastructure will go ahead with a data center in a building with so many racks of systems where there are a lot of variables like temperature, maintenance, manpower, taking care of it, etc. So imagine a third party that can be AWS, Azure or GCP that is taking care of it where you don't have to worry about uh, where or how it is running. Hardware and temperature variables are not nightmare for you anymore. Cloud has solved this problem in seamless, fast, cost efficient, reliable and in a scalable manner. Let me make you understand the deployment and the service of the model of cloud computing so that you can understand it better and this video can add a great value to your lives if you are new to cloud computing. Basically, cloud has three deployment services that is public, private and hybrid. You know, cloud where you deploy the services like EAS uh, that stands for infrastructure as a service, PaaS that stands for platform as a service and SaaS which stands for software as a service. Whoa, what's that? Don't worry, we are going to cover all of this in this video but the bigger decision making here is something else because it totally depends on a person who is taking care of architecture that which of these cloud forms fits best for your business need. Before we jump in the detail of these cloud forms, here is a quick quiz time. Which one of these has the largest market acquisition in the cloud industry? Is it AWS, Microsoft or GCP? Tell me in the comment section and I'll tell you if your reply is right. Okay. Now back to the deployment services. So the first one is the public cloud in which the name suggests uh, that the multiple users share these resources that are maintained by any third party cloud vendor. Effective model of pay per use applies here and of course it is scalable. Here you gotta have to do the security audits since security is provided by some other or you can say third party vendor here. Second one is the private cloud. Here only strictly governed companies are using private cloud because you know they can only be accessed by secured or private network. And you, you can say that computing resources are kept behind the governing body's firewall. Capital and operation expenses are definitely high but it is the most secured solution because you get the complete control over the infrastructure. And again like the name suggests hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud is the mix of public and private cloud in which companies are allowed to scale when the demand increases without giving access of your data to any third party. Now I would like to introduce you to a cheat sheet by which you will remember that what is EAS, PaaS and SaaS. In order to understand that, you need to refresh your basics again. Now here is a functional architecture of cloud layer which is very logical. You have a major block in layers that is super important in cloud. Like you have a networking and storage which takes care of your server and then virtualization is done as per your need. For virtualization you need to decide the operating system where you have middleware and these layers will finally take care of your runtime. Now it will take care of your precious data where your application that you have designed for any X purpose is going to run. Now here is a EAS that is infra as a service where networking, storage, servers, virtualization is managed by the vendor. Rest of the layers you'll have to manage. AWS EC2 is a very good example of EAS. DigitalOcean, Linode, all of them are serving as EAS. In platform as a service, you only need to manage application and data. Rest everything is taken care by vendor. In SaaS, all the layers are managed by vendors. Definitely, SaaS is around you everywhere like Zoom, Adobe Creative Cloud, Slack, Salesforce, they all are example of SaaS. So this was it about cloud. If you are liking my content, don't forget to thank my efforts by subscribing my channel and sharing it with your friends. And there are a lot more content related to cloud that is coming up because I have recently cleared a lot of certifications that are of AWS that is cloud practitioner, cloud architecture and finally the DevOps Pro. 
So you can expect a lot of stuff related to cloud on my channel. And also we have released a DevOps course of which you can find the link into the description. So there is a lot more related to cloud world that you are going to witness on this channel. But that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow again with another informative video related to cloud. See you tomorrow.